God bless you, Pastor Merv Massey, New Living Word, with another message in our series, What Time Is It? What time is it? It's time to dream dreams and have visions. Yes, that's right. The Bible says in Acts 2 and 17, it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. That's right. Why is that important? Because God is speaking to us of divine things, eternal things, in dreams and visions. The word that you uh, read in this passage concerning dream, it actually means a vision in a dream. A vision in a dream. The word vision here in, in uh, uh, as you read it as well, means inspired appearance. Inspired appearance. So a dream provides motivation and a vision moves with a plan. A dream gives motivation, and a vision moves with a plan. The Bible tells us in Proverbs 29 and 18, where there is no vision, no redemptive revelation of God, the people perish. Praise God. That's why we can't go down, because God gives us vision a redemptive revelation of God. It's what he's doing right now. No matter what we hear on the news, no matter what we see with our own eyes, it is a, God gives us vision, a redemptive <clears throat> revelation of God. Then what does God do with those dreams and vision? He speaks to us. He speaks to us. And this is gonna come from Job 33, 14 through 18. For God speaks once, yet man perceives it not. Didn't hear him. So what does he do? He goes another level. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in the slumbering upon the bed, then he opens the ears of men and seals their instruction that he may withdraw man from his purpose, hide pride from man, and he keepeth back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. Look what God does. When we don't even recognize him speaking to us, what does he do? He speaks to us in the night, in a dream, a vision in the night. He speaks to us. So what does he expect us to do? And I'm going to tell you this. Make sure you have a pen and pad or something uh, by your bed each night because you don't know what God is going to tell you, when he's going to wake you up and tell you. So what God expects us to do is to write, read, and run with the vision. Write, read, and run with the vision. You guys are very familiar with Habakkuk 2, uh, verses 1 through verse number 3 even. The Bible says, I will stand on my watch and, and set me upon my tower uh, to watch what he will say unto me and what I will answer when I'm improved. So there should be an expectation now that God's going to speak to me in vision and dreams. And look what, he, look what the Lord says to him in verse 2. The Lord answered and said unto me, Write the vision, make it plain, and uh, that he that... Uh, uh, readeth it, might run with it. Amen? Their God wants us to write, he wants us to read, and he wants us to run with the vision. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. He goes further in verse 3 and says, though the vision is for an appointed time, though it tarry, wait for it. In the end, it's going to speak. Folks, if God said it, he's going to do it. If he speaks it, he brings it to pass. I want to use for an example today of Joseph. Joseph, whom God gave a dream. Genesis 
37, verse 5 through 11. What happened? Joseph dreamed a dream. Oh, what was it? Hey, it was a divine revelation of what God was doing in his life, and God spoke to him through a dream. And the first dream that he had, as they were gathering up the sheaves, I'm old farmer country boy, they were gathering up the crops, and as they were gathered, called them sheaves back then as they wrapped them all up. And, um, and what happened? The sheaves of his mother, father, sister, uh, brothers, he didn't have no sisters, brothers, <laughs> they all bowed down to him. And he told that dream. And of course, his brothers were hot. That's why it's important. You can't tell everybody what God shows you. And, and what happened? God wanted to confirm it. So what did he do? He gave him yet another dream. And, and this time, the sun, moon, the stars, they all bowed down to him. And now his, his brothers are livid. They already hate him. And now they are livid. But the Bible says his father considered these things. Why? Because God was revealing his plan of redemption for the children of Israel and the world through this young man in a dream. Isn't that amazing? So how does God... Uh, what does God do? Keep this in mind, believers. When God gives you a vision or a dream, you're going to be tested by the Lord because you've got to be able to fulfill what God is showing you. The fullness of that dream and that vision is not just for you, but it is for others as well. Praise the Lord. And so, so he has been tested to the bone. His character has been tested. Uh, his, 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 his ability to manage has been tested. All this has been tested. Why? Because God is prophesying that this young man is, is going to become prime minister. Something that's about to happen has never happened before. But guess what? Through a dream, God did it. So God gives Pharaoh a dream. God gives Pharaoh a dream, and, 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 and Pharaoh doesn't understand the dream. But because this young man has been operating in dreams, uh, some, they remember, oh, wait a minute, there's a Hebrew who can answer this thing. So what does Pharaoh have? Two dreams. Fat cattle, sitting eating green grass, doing good. Skinny cattle, come up out the river, eat them up. Oh my Lord, what does this mean? God does it again. He gives him another dream. Uh, nice corn, all growing fine, then with the bad corn, come up, eat the good corn. Pharaoh's like, what the, what is this? And guess what? Joseph is Johnny on the spot. He's right there. He's prepared. He's ready. And what does he do? God gives him the interpretation of the dream. And, and he tells him of the famine that's about to come into the land. He tells him what's about to take place. And then he tells him what he needs to do. And when he did that, my God, what happened? He's now promoted to second only to Pharaoh in the land of Egypt. Do you see what God is doing in the most impossible times right now? God is saying, it's time now for you to have dreams and visions because I'm speaking to you and you don't know what I will do, but I'll tell you and reveal it to you through visions and dreams. Hey, look like he made it. I made it. I'm at the top. I got it. Hey, hey. No, sir, Joseph. You got to fulfill it because the reason God put him there, yes, to bless him, but to be a blessing. And you know what Joseph said? He realized this, and in, 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 in Genesis 45 and 7, he makes this statement to his, his brothers. He said, God sent me before you to preserve you a posterity in the earth and to save your life by a great deliverance. Look at that. Do y'all see how it works? Amen. So it's time for us to have visions and dreams. It's time for us. God said it in the last days. And, and I'm going to come back with you again. I got to do one, especially on prophesy, why it's so important. Because when God shows you something, you have to keep speaking it. And as you continue to speak it, you'll begin to see that thing begin to come to pass. And so what time is it? It's time to dream dreams. It's time to have visions. Why? Because God is speaking to us right now, supernaturally, of the things that he's bringing to pass, even today. Let me pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to pray for the believers that's hearing this today, that they take the time and have the expectation, wait a minute, God is the one who keeps waking me up. 
He's trying to speak to me. He's speaking to me through visions and dreams. And now I want to have by my bedside a pad and a pencil or whatever device that I can take notes and that I can take this down and ponder on this and pray on this so that God can give me revelation of the vision and the dream that he's given me. Father, I thank you. Let's just thank the Lord now in advance. Father, we thank you in advance right now for the visions and the dreams that you are revealing to us in Jesus' name, amen. Let me tell you something. Some of you may uh, not be born again. You're having a vision and dream. You need to come to the Lord. That's the Lord. That's not the devil. You need to come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Let me pray with you. Father, in Jesus' name, I ask you, give those that are listening that have not committed their life to you, give them a vision or a dream that they know I need to come to the Lord now, right now, before Satan has a chance to take my life and I lose my soul. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you. Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord, my Savior, today, in Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, hit us up at info at newlivingword.org, and we can get information to you that you need. What time is it? It's time to dream dreams and have visions. God bless you.